Okay, so hey guys, how's it going? As you can tell by the title, this is going to be my simple and easy pixel tutorial, which does not require a £22 or like $30 glitter stick bot, although I am going to be doing that as well, because this isn't going to be the one I keep in my display box. Um, however, this one might be a giveaway. Let me know if you want to see this as a giveaway for later on. There'll be a poll coming up right now and we're going to point with pixel, temporary pixel. And it will be up, it'll be up here. There's going to be a poll right here. Um, on whether this should be a giveaway thing or not. But, so you, as you just saw, you want to start off with one of these. Just your ordinary transparent, uh, well, translucent pink stick bot with blue on the inside. I'm pretty sure the glitter bot has orange on the inside. I'm not entirely sure. But, yeah. So, you want to start with this. Let's just focus a little more on the stick bot itself. There we go. So, you want to start with one of those. You also want some in between rusted and shiny silver paint and the paintbrush that you put on your desk earlier but forgot where it was so give me a second okay so this is the paintbrush I'm going to be using small light enough to be able to dab bits here and there and also big enough to cover enough area at one time so I'm moving the light down so there's more lighting And that should do us for lighting, I think. Yeah, although my hand does kind of darken it a little bit. Let's move the light a little closer in, shall we? I'm pretty sure it's directly over the top. Okay, cool. So you're going to want to do this kind of motion all over with the silver. Um, you might want to go over the face after with the permanent marker. Just get rid of any of the silver that shows up on the face. But without further ado, I'm going to show you how to do the, like, how to dry brush, basically. Okay, so dry brushing itself is quite simple. You just really want to get some paint on the brush like this. That's way too much. And then, like I've done on the top, like just... You want to do this, basically. And on the front, just see how you're doing. And then you just... You basically make the brush dry, so there's not a lot of paint on it. Hence, dry brushing. Still too much. Uh, we'll do it on here. There you go. So you see there's not a lot there anymore. So once you've got to that, which I think will do nicely, you're going to get your stick bolt. If it goes wrong, you can use nail polish remover and you can just wipe it with a cloth. But you want to do this all over. And you can see it's already starting to get the glitter effect on it. So, I'm going to keep doing this. I will fast track it so you don't have to watch me do it the whole way. Okay, so you can see she's kind of got like the glitter look to her now. I don't know why it's just changed the colour of her on my camera. There you go. But you can see that there's obviously silver on the black of her eyes and her mouth. Which is a little bit of a pain. And oh, I forgot that I had that. Um, let me just repair this off screen. There we go. Uh, there we go. There we go. So, she's got the silver kind of effect. 
I don't know. Which I'm personally quite happy with. Um, probably fast forward the fixing the um, eye part and the mouth. Because I think that would be quite boring. But you can see that she looks... She actually does look like she's got glitter inside. Like inside the plastic. Or as close as you can get it without melting all the plastic down and putting glitter in yourself. So, the pen I'm going to be using is, let's zoom out a bit, this heel, Sharpie double-ended one, twin tip. So it's got the bullet tip on one side, or fine tip, or whatever you want to call it, and the, because I'd call this, this one here a fine tip, but they seem to call the other one a fine tip. So I'll speed this part up so you can just see me fixing it. Um, so yeah, speed up. Okay, so you could see that the eyes were too big, so I kind of cut them down a little bit using my trusty craft knife. Um, I did that on camera, but the video then went over 10 minutes, and it might still go over 10 minutes anyway, but I don't want it to go over 10 minutes if I can help it. Like, just that a little section going over 10 minutes, so anyway. Um, I think she actually looks like a glitter stick bot. And to be fair, for the price, £4.4, four, and then like, a couple for the paint, it's really not bad. I recommend doing this if you can't spare, like, $30 for a glitter stick bot. Um, so, let's see how she looks with her sword. Okay, so she looks pretty good with her sword. Um, there are two poles, there's going to be one right now up there. Basically just asking... Which custom shall I do next? Because it saves you commenting. You can literally just click, click, selected, and then you can come back to the video. So I'll give you a second to do that. Okay. But basically, um, there are two up there. There's the which one am I doing next, and then there's the giveaway. Um, this one here, like, this one is the one I'm giving away. But the sword does not come with it, okay? I'm really sorry to anyone who wants the sword with it. I cannot give the sword away. I need the sword for my actual custom one. However, this pixel is going to be going in the box. But not permanently, because I don't like her. I don't care if she's offended by that. She's not the best stick, but... Like... I don't know. Um, it's only go. The glitter one's going to be the one in there. Um... There should be a giveaway details announcement coming out soon, or the giveaway announcement coming out soon for the winners of these. Um, so, yeah. Subscribe to Moonshine Animations for supporting me with my customs, and subscribe to me for making the customs, and vote in the polls that are up here. Peace.